Hello, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about powers and the language that goes around them as well. And uh, the first one to start with is a um, quick idea that's um, you do 5 times 5. Uh, and we know it's 5 square, right, which is 25. So as you see, this is a one and a one. So one plus one is a two. And and that gives you a 25 because five times five is 25. Uh, one thing to notice is here, the base is same five. So uh, at, based on this, we have a, a theorem uh, that states that if you have, let's say N and M, are numbers then for any uh, real number X uh, the product will lead to the sum of the exponents and and this is uh, uh, ender so this this happens, of course, under a topic called multiplying powers. With the same base, so it's important to say with the same base, right? Um, uh, a lot of times when we teach this, we say multiplying exponents, we add and stuff, but it's not correct until you really state uh, what case you're working with all right and you're going to see uh, other examples so um, uh, more examples can be done but let's talk about division of powers all right division uh, of powers. Uh, here the theorem is going to state that if you have n and m are numbers, all right, numbers, and you have x, but here uh, is a non zero number, is a, not a zero, cannot be a zero, so we will say is a non zero number. Then x power n over x power m is going to be x power n minus m. So uh, in this quotient form, uh, there is a subtraction that goes in order of the top minus the bottom. And uh, an easy way to, or example to show it, is if you have 5 power 3 over let's say 5 power 2, so this says 5 power 3 minus 2, which is 5. So how, what are the mechanics of it? 5 power 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. 5 squared is 5 times 5. And you can see here, then uh, you cancel 1, you cancel 2nd, and you have left a 5 over 1, right? So 5 over 1, which is a 5. And, and of course, uh, if the top is lower than the, the bottom, then, uh, but it's still the same base, then you will end up with the negative exponent. And I'll talk about how we deal with the negative exponent. Uh, so the next thing to, to talk about is what is a power to a power, right? So after multiplying and dividing, now uh, what is a power to a power? Uh, is there a theorem for that? So power of a power. This is like a, a superpower. Yeah, so let's do a, uh, a theorem that says if you have N and M are numbers, and, uh, and if X is a uh, a number then x power n and all power m 
is just going to be x power n power m. So an example for it is, uh, let's say, 5, um, let's say 5 squared, then cubed. Based on this theorem, we should be 5, 2 times 3, which is 5 to the 6. All right? And, uh, and yeah, so if you, if you want to understand it more, you can break it down. What is 5 squared? It's 5 times 5. And this is cubed, right? And what is 5 times 5? Uh, 3 times. So if you do it, uh, if you want to keep the understanding of it, so you have 5 times 5, 3 times. And as you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So the theorem works. And of course, this is, we have one base. And uh, here, it's not multiplying powers. It's a power to a power. 